Hello all, welcome back to the third installment of the hand part, or hand lesson. Uh, I guess that's a more appropriate term. Um, I'm just going to kind of play with some of the scale on these just a little bit, because that just looks a little bit too small for me. And this one, the pinky, actually that seems like it's about right. The thumb's a little thick, which is going to be okay. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and shift, right click to select all these and then select the hand, control J, that will join the meshes. And one thing you notice that the last one, the very last one selected is what the pivot they all inherit. So if I were to have selected the hand, then the pinky, then all the way around to the thumb, this whole, now that it's one mesh, it would have uh, inherited the pivot point of the thumb, which is actually right about here. So let me just show you that. So we'll select the hand, and note where its pivot point is right here. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, you can see that the pivot point is now there, so let's just undo that and do this again the way it was. Okay, so now it's one mesh. Um, let's go ahead and tab into it. Let's turn off backside and let's go to faces. I want to get rid of these uh, faces that are here on the interior. X faces because what we're going to do is we're going to basically just weld these vertices together or maybe even make faces okay so we've got that done and I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, make faces, especially for the thumb. Because quite apparently, the thumb doesn't just, you know, go right up to that or anything. So F for face. Just go all the way around. Whoops. We're going to leave that because I want to pull that thumb in just a little bit. We're going to have to do some adjustments on this. Um, let's go ahead and actually, let's go ahead and go to the top view and let's play with that thumb a little bit. And instead of doing all the stuff I was talking about, I'm going to add a division right here. And let's look at this. I'm going to add another division right across here bring that up a little bit closer. Okay. Let's look at those from the top. And I'm going to pull those out just a little bit. Not too much. And let's go to vertices. And let's take this middle one. And let's pull that up. There we go. Pull this one down a little bit. Actually, that's pretty good the way it is. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> it's morning for me, and I am a coffee drinker and a smoker, so I'll be coughing a lot. Hit A to deselect all, and then go with B for box. And actually, that's A and deselect those. Let's hit B twice. We'll use the brush selection, and we'll grow it up. If you act like your scroll wheel is pulling out of the view, that's that's the way to scale it up. And if you act like you're zooming in, that will move it down. So let's just go ahead and brush select these. Right click to exit out of that. Let's turn off backside. And let's go back to the top. I'm going to grow that selection one time. G to grab move. Take it back just a little bit. And then shrink the selection. There we go. G to grab move. Let's take it in. Let's even rotate it just a little bit. Trying to keep this a generally straight line. Let's look at that from the front. Okay. Back to the top. Whoops. There we go. Seems okay. 
going to shrink that selection again, and I'm just going to play with the placement on this one vertically. That seems all right. And let's shrink it again, and do the same thing with that. And now we're going to rotate it just a little bit. Let's go to the top. Okay, everything seems okay. Still seems like it's a little bit far out. Instead of pulling this back, I'm going to take this stuff forward. So alt right mouse button on that loop, hold down shift, select this one. But I want to make sure it kind of goes all the way around. Whoops. Just use shift, not alt shift like I just did. And let's pull that one forward a little bit. Okay. All right. Quite a bit better, at least in my opinion. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to kind of iron these out a little bit. Whoops. seems okay. Let's get it from the bottom. Control 7. We'll bring you down there. fatten this area up just a little. Back to the top. Okay. So let's go ahead. And I'm going to start welding these. Um, I'm just going to do uh, at center because neither one of them are exactly where I want them. We may want to just use the average, which is what I'm doing right now, or we may need to adjust some of them. So 90% of the time, I found that doing the average between the two is usually one of the best ones and I should have started in the middle right there this one I'm doing right now these are middle ones should be the first ones you weld just because uh, it could be difficult to get in there later and dig out a vertex now if I were to place these a little bit better we could have just used the remove doubles, but uh, that's that could be a lot more work. And that's really the key. I'm going to weld that one to the first. There we go. Pull that up a little bit. Undo that. Let's go ahead and do it at center. Whoops. And Alt M is your hotkey, just in case you forget. Just kind of destroying that awkward silence while I'm <laughs> while I'm merging all these. All 
I'm going to do this one at last. And then we'll go back to the average. That should be all of them. Got to double check this one. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. Now the top of the hand seems a little bit flat. Start. To, I'm going to start in center. Pulling those up, and then, as a matter of fact, I'm going to pull a bunch of these up at center. or in the center and then um, instead of you know pulling stuff down I'm going to take these pull these up a little bit and anytime I see something that's puffed up too much I'm just going to smooth it instead of uh, pulling it down yeah I can see that it just looks a lot better to me You notice I'm shrinking my selections a little bit every time I do it. Okay. Yep. Looks pretty good. So let's deselect those, tab out of edit mode, and let's minimize that view. Or not minimize it, but bring this back into focus. And I'm going to add um, a modifier to it, a subsurf, just so we can see a little bit better where it's all mushy and where we need to uh, adjust things, add divisions. Let's turn this on in edit mode and use optimal draw. <clears throat> Thumb looks a little bit, I kind of went a little overboard on that one. Let's take that up a little bit. Okay, let's take both of those, maybe all three of those up on Z. Overall, the hand doesn't look too bad. I'm going to see if I can add a division across these knuckles right here. And then I'm going to Alt-S to swell that up just a little bit. There we go. Let's take these bottom ones and pull them down. And each one of these I'm going to take and I'm just going to hit Let's let's go to quads. It's a little bit easier. I'm going to scale that down. Actually, I'm going to do both of those and go back to vertices, edges. Make up your mind, Justin. Okay, there we go. Scale those down. It'll kind of round out between um, those two, creating more of a ball shape down here. We're going to do the same thing to the top. Now we can grab those vertices and pull them up on Z. And lo and behold, we have some knuckles. We've got to be careful on these. I want to pull these forward and back to help round that out a little bit better. And we can try and scale that up instead. Looks okay to me. Let's see if we can scale these down a little bit more. Not much, apparently. You gotta also be aware of um, when you do stuff like that. Um, be aware of how close they are. For if, for if, uh, just in case you go to add any doubles or anything, or remove doubles. Excuse me. So. I'm going to go ahead and we gotta connect this. We're gonna do some vertex counting. Let's just put the cursor right there. So 